This is the Besotted Pride of West London podcast. And we're coming to you. The final whistle here at New Griffin Park. West Ham have come here. The fifth time we played West Ham in the Premier League. And it's Brentford 5, West Ham 0. Well, not today. That's games one. Today, Brentford 3, West Ham 2. Yet again, the Bees are beating the West Ham. And West Ham must be thinking, what do we need to do to even get a point of the mighty, mighty Bees? What a tremendous, what a great game. I have to say, what a great game. End to end. Bees went ahead. And then West Ham went ahead. We went 1-0 up. Then they went 2-1 up. Then we came back to 2-all. And then 3-2. What a great game. And you can hear it. All the fans there singing. Singing, hey Jude. End of the match. Players in the centre circle. 2-3 for West Ham fans are gone. They had a bit of a sing-song. Plenty of bubbles in the air. Then after a while, there are no bubbles in the air. The only people that were in the air were the Beast fans because we were very, very happy. What a result, eh? Oh, fantastic. What a good game. It was a really good Premiership match. We went one up. They equalised. They went ahead. We went ahead. We won it. And West Ham will be very, very sore tonight. They were very disappointed, but we had a really good game. Collins at the back was monumental. He just led the line all the way through. Changing keeper at half-time as well, disrupted everything, but we hung in there. We won. We won. Won an absolutely. What a great, what a great what result. What a game. Uh, it was a great game. Great result. To be honest, at half-time when we were losing, do you know what I thought? I'm actually quite enjoying this even though we're losing. But um, we came back and edged a, a very tight game. But you've got to say, when it comes to commitment and overall quality, we just had the edge. The Collins, amazing. Yanel, amazing. Norgard, standard amazing but every one of those players played brilliantly today uh worked their way through a difficult period when we were under the cost for a little bit but yeah great result come on you bees what a, what a result what a result there to listen it, it's here we go here we go rocking all over the world and we, let's, listen this is only the second time we've heard this in six months to be fair so give us give us a break you know give us a break let us enjoy ourselves it's great to see a home win again. Um, but at one stage, it looked like that our, 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 our winning streak against West Ham was going to be out the window, didn't it? It did for a bit, yeah. I mean, when they went two up, I mean, they basically had 10 minutes of really good football when they scored those two goals. But uh, the way we came back was fantastic. It was a really exciting game of football. I mean, both teams really added to it. You know, both going for it. I just really enjoyed that game. I've got to say, Nathan Collins was absolutely superb. Why we spent 20 odd million on him. He was fantastic. Tony and Brian and Bumo. Well, Tony wasn't played today, but Brian and Bumo certainly was. And Brian and Bumo had bell school, Brian. Lots of shots, literally just shaved the woodwork. And uh, then, you know, he, he did well today because he, he worked his socks off. What a game. Absolutely magnificent game of football, really open. One of the best games of football I've seen down here while we've been in the Premier League. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, all credit to all of the teams and real credit to Trosco as well who came on for the second half after Flecken got injured in the first. He was really confident and played some beautiful balls out for, as a goalkeeper. Really looked confident and I'm pleased for him as well. We're a team going places and on the up so I'm really looking forward to being at Anfield next weekend. I reckon we could give Liverpool a scare. There we go. Andy Jacobs. I wonder if Andy Jacobs from TalkSport is, uh, is watching. Is was watching this game. Was he, was he watching this? Is he listening? Apparently we're very boring. We're a boring team, Brentford. Him and his Chelsea season ticket. I bet he did, he... did he celebrate when West Ham scored? Two goals today. I bet he did as well. I bet he's not celebrating now, or maybe he is. Because maybe he's one of these fans that keeps switching from side to side. But we're enjoying ourselves now. Ooh! Oh, here we go. It's all kicking off here again. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's having fun. The players are having fun. We're having fun. Why the hell not? We're still in the Premier League. Little old Brentford. A lot of people don't like it. But we don't care what you don't like. Because we're having some jokes. I'm, I'm going from left to right as we speak. As we speak. You Reds. You Reds. Come on, you Reds. There they go. The players are walking past us. Thomas Frank's got his fist in the air again. Fist in the air. Thomas Frank, five. David Moyes, nil. Thomas Frank, five, I said. David Moyes, nil. Nil. 
Moyes doesn't know. He doesn't know how to deal with this. He doesn't. He's, he's, he's gone back. He's got his whiteboard out, thinking, how do I deal with the Frank? Because I'm really struggling here, struggling badly. But listen, meanwhile, we're all just dancing. I'm, I'm doing the two-step. If you can see me, my legs are going left and right. I'm having a little dance up because we serve on fire. Your defense is terrified. We serve on fire. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Your defense. We on fire. There we go. Boom. La 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 la. It's all going off in there. It's all going off. Carragher, he loves it. Have you seen the Beckham documentary? Funny, look, seen all them faces out there as well. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm enjoying myself. Let's talk to some other people. The Dutchman, the Dutchman. Lovely. I'm spoken to you already, haven't I? No. Oh, I've not spoken to you. No, last week. Yeah, no, last week. <laughs> I've got no idea what's going on. So go and tell me about that. I thought it was really good. Really, really good. I thought a decent West Ham team. I thought we played all right. I thought we were unlucky to be down at half time. Uh, good finish for them for the second goal for sure. But I thought we were good throughout today. Some really, really good performances. Fair play to the un. The I thought Onyeka had a decent, solid 90 today. Um, you know, Collins looked good again, but Matty Ensign, superb, eh? superb. 75 minutes, controlled that game. Good finishing. Not quite sure how, how the old Gillam gave the second goal to Jan out when it was clearly an own goal uh, from a challenge to Collins, but that's a good result. Eh? Three wins in a row, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Listen, I've got, fr I've got French bees in the house today. Um, the match today, très bien. <laughs> Bonjour, très bien, très bien, merci. Yeah. Très bien. Good match. Très bien. I know you're. I know you're. You're now a neutral, but as a neutral, did you enjoy yourself at Brentford today? Yeah, yeah. Great game. Great game. Yeah. Great game. Incredible game. Yeah. You're gonna come back again? Yeah, yeah. I'll come back again. French. Sure. French. Fr you're a French. You're now a French bee. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm a French bee. And your mum and dad are here as well. They don't even speak any English. Free, free but, the, bee. but there's one word that you can say. It's Brentford, isn't it? Say Brentford. 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 Say Brentford. 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 There you go. Yeah, there you go. And the Dutch bees in the house. We got the Dutch bee in the house. The French bees. That's the French bees are off. Dutch bee. Listen. Come on, you bees! That's right. PSV bee in the house. He's flown over from uh, from 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 Eindhoven. From as Eindhoven. Well. And, uh, and you come in here today. Every time it's amazing here in the G deck. That's right. Wonderful match. That's right. You're loving it. Yeah. The Dutch bee. The Dutch bee in the house. He's loving it. I tell you something. Everyone loves it. Man. Well, not the away fans. They don't love it so much. You know what I'm saying? Not when we. Oh look. There's even. Oh oh oh. There we go. Oh, oh what's going on here? I've got Ali Malali, she's waving sticks at me. She's waving sticks at me. She's waving sticks, because she's got, <laughs> she's, she's relatively mobile as well. If you know, Ali's been in a wheelchair for the past couple of, couple of months, but she's back. She's got the sticks and she's, uh, she's, uh, well, she's doing what she has to do. She wants me to come down here. So listen, oh, Ali, what's oh yeah, let's go. Oh, Ali's in the scooter. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go talk. Oh, I love the scooter. So Ali Malali in the place to be. So, so, so do, you want to, do you want to sit down or do you want to talk? Standing up, so listen. What a comeback, okay? Oh. Don't call it, as LL Cool J used to say, don't call it a comeback. Oh, it, was, it was brilliant. It was just all like, it got off to such, oh. Oh. Got off to such a good start with Neil's goal. You know, loved it. And then we had a little bit of a sloppy 10 minutes, went 2-1 down. And when we came out second half and we really went for it. And I, I thought we were brilliant second half. And we thoroughly, thoroughly deserved the win. I thought Norgard was sublime today. It was brilliant. I thought it was so good. And can I just say, Neil's little face at the end, he was so happy. Yeah. He was so happy. He loves it. He's a he proper loves. bee, isn't he? He's a proper bee. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know what, what Ben Rama has to do for West Ham because he, was, he really had the measure of Ira. He was all over Ira most of the game, and then Moyes takes him off. He needs to come home. He needs to come home. Of to course, we home. told him he wants to come home he as well. And I said Andy Jacobs as well. Yeah. And that was a very boring, it's a boring game, wasn't it? I don't think it was boring enough for him. I think he will be really disappointed that it wasn't boring enough. Yeah, 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 you you know, well, I really feel for him because he wanted a boring game, and it never came. And I've just been hugged by a child. Uh, and, that's what, and if you don't know what we're talking about, Andy Jacobs for TalkSport as well. And he talked about, if you look at you, check out the Besotted Twitter and also you check out our articles he's, and, and check out the Besotted Pride of West London podcast this week, the pre-match West Ham podcast. He talked about having his Brentford season to get, even though he's a Chelsea fan, and he thought that football is boring and he thought it's terrible. And he was going to chair West Ham with his score. Well, he chaired them twice, but unfortunately, we chaired three times. Nice one, Andy. Thank you very much. So this is all good. Listen, I'm going to go down and find some more characters. OK, see you later. But more bees in the house there, as you can hear. West London is wonderful. It's full of 
beer baiting and Brentford, as the Dulwich Hamlet say as well. Uh, as you know, because you're a Dulwich Hamlet man as well. I've seen you in the Hamlet quite a few times as well. But no, but let's not talk about the Hamlet. Let's talk about the 5 0. Thomas Frank 5, David Moyes 0. You know what I'm saying? He can't get the better of us, can he, at all? No, we will not so much of a bogey as a whole packet of stinky tissue team for, for West Ham, I'd say. Right. Yes, I have to say my favourite moment that I'm going to look forward to was Jensen's filthy nutmeg in the bottom right hand oh. corner. Oh. Oh, it's oh. disgusting. Oh. And then he's ball in for Collins. Oh, oh unbelievable. my God. It's incredible, isn't it? Collins, absolutely unbelievable header. Great to see me on the ball. Great to see him me. back. I mean, every time he got it, superb. <laughs> what a cracking day. I did fear the worst. I thought Lady Luck was going to shine the other way, but as it turned out, we came out on top. Uh, up the bees. Up the bees, up the bees. <laughs> easy life, as they say. <laughs> easy, easy life. Easy life. It's not an easy life. Well, if you're not, if you're David Moyes, it's certainly not an easy life, is that at the moment now? <laughs> but for us Bees fans, it's a bit of an easy life, isn't it? Three wins on the spin as well, and West Ham five, five nil to West um, to the Bees over West Ham as well. It's, it, it can't get any worse than this at the moment, can it? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't get any better being a Bees fan. Hell of a result. First half, I thought, you know, we looked good, but we looked a bit shaky in defence. Shaky Stevens. Shaking Stevens could have gone either way, but I thought second half we came out, uh, came out absolutely stomping, and we smashed it. Yeah. We smashed. I mean, we smashed up the West Ham. Um, to be fair, they've got some good players as well. You know, the, the Four Nails and they, you know, they've got and, and also the, the, oh, come on, the, 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 the number fourteen. What's his name as well? The new character that they've just got in as well. Kudos, I think his name's something like that. Kudos, kudos, kudos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but it's good. That gold, that gold. That's right. The gold is they score. Oh, mate, you know what I'm saying. So you got to give. You got. You got to tip your hat because we are football fans and we respect football. And at the end of the day, if you do something well, you tip your hat to it. However, we did even better, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, kudos to him. He was. Uh, he played well. That goal was unreal. And they did have some um, some individual talent at points. But I think defensively we were unreal once again. Yes. Uh, Janel, obviously, wasn't the expected left-back for today. No. Uh, but with no hickey, I thought once again he smashed it, filling in a left-back. Yes. Uh, but yeah, great performance. Yes, you bees. You bees. M more bees were just come over the bridge. We've come over Bees Bridge, actually. The bees Bridge, and we're coming down on the other side. Like, you know, the bees have landed on the other side. We definitely landed today, didn't we? We definitely landed. That was, you know, well, I mean, you know, we're playing West Ham, so they might as well just give us the points before we even Ooh. start the game. Oh, yeah. I think that's dangerous talk, <laughs> dangerous talk. Especially at half-time, that's dangerous talk. Yeah, well, yeah, half-time looked a bit kind of... That, I mean, not being funny, they had 10 minutes in the game and they scored two goals. You, you know, if you look at the whole game, those are the 10 minutes they had. They got two goals, yeah, kudos to goal, absolute screamer. Really, you know, even, no one was getting that out of the net, not even Raya. Um, Who? <laughs> don't be like that don't be like that don't be like that but no it's a great game good result really happy Listen, you're happy, I'm happy. Dan the man's not happy, obviously, because he's just standing then on the street corner, just like, you know, don't know. He's, looking, he's looking for more goals, I think, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know the game's over. <laughs> it's all good. But um, uh, we talk about, a lot of people talk about Collins, because it's interesting, because Collins, a lot of people go, hmm, waste of money, and he got a little bit of shtick, didn't he, um, the, the, for the past few weeks from, from characters, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he did, but I think, I, I think kind of... When we get a new player, I mean, I remember when Tony first signed for us and everyone's gone, oh, that Tony's rubbish. Um, you know, I think we were a bit funny about new players coming in. Um, even people, I mean, even when me started, people were giving him a bit of stick. But if I'm honest, I think Collins proved himself last week against, in the Chelsea game. Um, even, you know, Chelsea supporters I know were saying he looked pretty solid. Who's that? Who is that player? And I think he proved himself today. He deserved that goal. Great performance, good header, good height on him. And from a team that normally are lacking a lot of height up front, it's good to see kind of like you know him and Pinnock getting goals for us. So yeah, I think he's done well. <coughs> so this is how much it means to some people. You listen to them, they can't even speak hardly. <laughs> Look, we've got a horse bee in the house. You know what I'm saying? A horse bee, croaky bee in the house. He's obviously been singing far too much. You know what I'm saying? You, do you sing on your own? Did you sing on your own? Well, I think I think you had to, you know, sing up for the bees. Can't hear West Ham sing, you sing on your own. So you were singing on your own, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I had to sing up because we couldn't hear the West Ham fans because they were rubbish and, you know, in the corner. They were quiet. Even when they were 2-1 up, they weren't singing. So I had to sing. And, that's and, this, and this is you. You're, you're West Ham as well, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, no, North Stand. North Stand, oh yeah, so you're quite close to the West Ham fans as well. I'm quite close to the West Ham, uh, the, the away fans, but yeah, they were very quiet. But um, yeah, no, brilliant game, always good to beat West Ham. 
Um, we we looked a bit dodgy when that when their second goal went in. Our heads went down, but we we managed to put it back and get the three points. So you know, there'll be other people who can go through the tactics and everything and all that. I'm you know, but yeah, we 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 won the game. More pace scored. Brilliant, brilliant nine minutes football. But yeah, all good. I, I, I just, just coming back because you mentioned more pay. Because more pay scored. I mean, when he scored, he was so happy, wasn't he? Yeah, he could just feel the release. You know, I think there was a big release for him, a big release for us as fans because obviously, you know, he is one of our own. Um, for him to score on, on uh, you know, I'm glad he got his first goal for Rumford at New Griffin Park and not some dodgy away ground somewhere. And um, we could all celebrate together. Well, like Chelsea, you mean? <laughs> I wouldn't dare say that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, yeah, a, a good result. We won. Look, dodged some dodgy patches there and then, but overall, brilliant. We won. Let's crack on to the next one. So, so what is this easy life then? It is easy life. Well, when we keep playing West Ham, to be fair, is that, is that five on the five league in the bounce now? Uh, they never beat us. They never beat us. We, well, not yet, anyway. Not no, yet, no, anyway. no, no, no. We're too strong for them. We're mentally too strong for them. We, to, for us to come, you know, concede that second goal as we did, you know, obviously it was a bit of a quality goal. I, I must give it to them. But the way we come back in that game is outstanding. Uh, there's a lot of determination, a lot of fight in that team today. Uh, straight off the back of that Chelsea victory. And in fact, I thought we was playing Chelsea for a minute. Because uh, I was in wearing blue, I thought I got, got a bit confused. Yeah. Got a bit confused, you know. Yeah, sorry, you know what it's right, like. But um, uh, we're walking the wrong way. Yeah, we're, by we're, the way, yeah, we're just we're, we're all over the place. We are, we're yeah. The we're just all over the place because we get so excited this by the it, by the by the, by the win. Oh, mate, it, you can't you can't say no fair than that. It's a fantastic win. Um, I'm, I'm just pleased about more about the performance. To be fair, the way we we fought back into that game and we just kept plodding on and plodding on. And there was, there was some, 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 you know, some really good performances out from players there. Pinnock again, outstanding. Collins with his goal. Malpai, you know, he, he linked up the play very well up front. And uh, you know, you can't, you can't be uh, not happy with that. That was the result. Uh, it's a fantastic. I tell you something. Tell you what was really nice as well when me came on me. Oh, me. Yeah, I know, I know. And, uh, you know, his first, he, he was on less than ten seconds and he touched the ball. Um, that's the type of play you want to bring on in the last five or ten minutes, though, isn't it? Someone is going to be a bit of grit and determination. Someone's going to clear the ball the way they do. Uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic beast performance. You can't be no prouder than that for the boys. You bees. You bees. So here we are back in the Globe pub again. Characters are, characters are relatively chilled, actually. It's almost like we've done the West Ham again, so we're just going to sit down, have a little pint, have a little chin wag, hang out. It's knees up, isn't it? When we beat West Ham, Cockneys, you have a knees up. That's right, knees up, Mother Brown, actually. So, uh, but I'll tell you something, it was it was a win, um, but it was again. It's almost like we seem to eke out these wins against West Ham in all sorts of different ways that makes us totally kind of ecstatic. The way that the goals score. I mean, today we were actually behind for I think probably the first time ever against West Ham, weren't we? So we we're thinking, oh, there we go. But still, that didn't matter, did it? It didn't in the end. There was a real belief today, wasn't there? And, uh, you know, having gone a goal up and Neil Morpé, you know, getting that 30-odd game sort of duck off his back and everyone sort of going on about, you know, all the misses, it was beautiful to see Neil Morpé celebrate. And I think um, he was very emotional at the end. Gave his shirt away. Uh, I quite like that myself. I have to bring a bit of cardboard with Neil, can I have your shirt next week? But um, no, it was um, a game where a few weeks ago we probably wouldn't have turned that around. But having won the last couple of games, I think that um, there was a belief that we could. And we, and we carried on going and the crosses, three-headed goals. I don't know, well, I don't know whether one of them was a, an own goal or the second one. I'm not sure, but you know, I'll, I'll watch that again later on. But Collins' goal, the, the, the last one, the winner beautiful and uh you know just seeing free from desire sung around the place again it was a very very happy g-tech fully deserved win i thought they i thought west ham had a really good 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes um they had a really good first goal i love to see the second one again there seems to be a bit of a lucky rebound and they finished it well um, whether it was a handball, the VAR and all that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I think there was just a real sense of belief and a bit of momentum. You know, we're a point behind Newcastle and a point behind Man United. And, you know, you think of all the smoke that's been blown up the arses of Newcastle this year and last year. 
you know, and a couple of wins, and you know, it, it shows you we're we're you know we're now set, you know we're a long way from the relegation zone. We, we're four points above Chelsea. We're 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 looking up, mate, and we we've, we've got players coming back now. We've got we've got um, Josh Silva. We've got um, Damsgaard. They're back in training now, and uh, you know we've got we've got players coming in. I thought I thought Onyeka had a really good game today, big performances, and I, and I thought Strakosha second half. Um, you know I know Fleckham went off injured, he got clattered, but I thought Strakosha had pushed the ball around beautifully. So positives all the way around the place, mate. Fully, fully deserved. And uh, yeah, have a happy a happy Saturday, everyone. It was just a beautiful, beautiful win. Beautiful, beautiful. When this is the Besotted Bride of West London podcast. Don't forget to buy us a beer. Besotted.com forward slash beer. Don't forget to check us out later in the week. Bride of West London is the podcast that we do. And we, we love it. We love it as well. We've got, uh, we've got Liverpool next week, I think. We're on way to Liverpool on the Sunday as well. So that's going to be a bit of a laugh as well. We're going to see our Liverpool chums as well. Check out the Anfield Rap. I'll probably be on the Anfield Rap podcast later on this week. We'll get them on the podcast as well later in the week. So, but don't forget to write us a review. And also, um, just, just, just vote for us and just give us, you know, big, big stars and all the podcast channels. But like I said to you, we have beaten West Ham. It's Thomas Frank 5. It's David Moyes nil. We've beaten West Ham for the fifth time in the Premier League. We are going to have a little bit of a break. We're going to come back. We're going to play Liverpool. 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 We're going to play Liverpool